Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Outer Worlds. And, man, it's been a couple days. I kind of forgot what I was doing. Let me go to where I spend half my screams in the menu. Uh Oh, yeah, we finished up Monarch, which is nice. I got the information on that uh, on that gas that he needs to help my fellow colonists. But I think I have a few more things here. Let's see. Byzantium. Uh... Oh, I can go back to Edgewater for this one. Well, that's perfect. I'll go by there first. And then Byzantium. Okay, well, uh, next stop is back to my ship. And then to Edgewater to finish up that mission. I'll need Neoka with me for that. I need to remember that. Oh, excuse me. All right, back to my ship. Uh, oh, hey, Hazel. Hey. If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? No. You do, like, freaky stuff in here with Sam when I'm not around. I don't want that. Okay. But yeah, I'm definitely, uh, Hazel, I'm definitely down for You're Overwatch down later. I probably won't um I probably won't stream Overwatch myself, but I'll I'll just play with you. That way it'll give my voice a bit of a break. What the Oh, Sam doesn't use uh ladders. Okay. Wow, this feels this feels a little sluggish. This is the problem with me playing it on console at different uh settings. This feels sluggish again. Uh where is my Oh, that's a little better. Okay, so first stop. Edgewater. I need Nioka with me. And I'm going to take Parvati because this is her home turf. Um, While I've been having some downtime on streaming, I've actually been... I'm, I'm not obsessed with this game, but I am enjoying it. I was watching two other streamers play it. Fun. To see, like, their different builds and see, like, what choices uh, they make, how they fight, what teammates they use. It's the reason why I watch people uh, play Mass Effect. I enjoy watching other people make certain decisions, how they play, what classes they're playing. All right, now the better question is, where am I going? Oh, I'm way over there. Okay. Once again, that is some scary stuff. It's like cancer bacon. Okay. I like bacon, but I don't know if I'd be eating bacon tumor growths off a pig. Eh. I was going to say be more, be more humane than killing them. I don't think it would. I think giving them cancer on purpose and then cutting stuff off of them over time might be a little more terrible than just killing them. All right. I'd wager this is the outpost. Rebecca! Anders! Come on out! Did you not yell? Yeah, okay, I'm sneaking. Okay, go. I missed. My first shot off a of stealth, and I missed. Okay, I'm gonna get, get used to the sensitivity a little bit. That's fine. I don't know, he's dead. All right, and I'm trying something new this time. Uh... First off, I have a slightly different overlay now. Well, layout. It's based on like Mass Effect menus and color. It's simple. But I found I, when I tried to add more stuff, it just looks more cluttered. So I'm, I think I'm going to go with this for a bit. I also added a few new alerts. I have no idea if the audio is going to work or not. I had to mess with the OBS settings. So it didn't record it twice. I'm hoping it works. It doesn't look like crap. Pick a gander. The door's busted. Rebecca? Anders, you in there? Well, let's find out. Huh. Rebecca taught me this once. You can jerry-rig these old locks so as they don't open anymore. But we've only ever done that if we're in a real bind. Here, I'll fix it. Well, that was quick, and she did it with not even touching it. Good job. Oh, no. Oh, no. What did you do? Oh. Oh, Nyoka. I'm so sorry. Not a great reunion, is it? So this this mission was originally find her friend's dead body and get his stuff. Then it was find these two people who got off Monarch, and they're dead. 
I, um, well, I mean, not to be insensitive, but they're not going to need their stuff. All right. So I got their medallions. Take a look here. Rusty journal. Hmm. It's like an item you would find in a D and D thing. Uh, its display is faded, and the buttons are almost entirely rusted through. But you can still make out bits and pieces of what looked like Rebecca's final entry. Law helped me, but Anderson was right. We never should have taken this contract. I thought Monarch was bad, but this this is unbearable. Everyone here is blind or addled or don't know what. The towns won't let us walk in without an employment contract. Yeah, they came to the wrong planet. Uh, Monarch might have been a crap hole, but at least it was free for the most part. If you remember from the previous part of the game, Edgewater is awful for with corporation stuff. It's just everywhere. I can see why like coming from a free planet would be not very fun coming here. Uh, I can't even find someone to let me send a message. For all the capable folk here, we, and then it cuts off, were stuck. Back home, we had to fight for every meal because there were no meals that you didn't make yourself. Here, there's plenty, but nobody's allowed to give you one. We've been stealing bits and pieces off life from wherever we can. Off life, of life. Anderson's about ready to sign up. Offer his life and service to Spacer's Choice just so he can take a shower. Uh, Clara, I hope to the architect this never reaches you, but on the off chance it does, I want to say I'm sorry. Uh, Anderson and I uh, messed up. Mm, keep it PG. Uh, 13. We didn't take the contract for the bits. We didn't take it because Primal sounded cool. We took it because, because we wanted to. Monarchs are living hell. We were sick of getting sick. Of boiled raptodon and stinking like sulfur no matter how hard you scrub. Of fighting, day in and day out. We're exhausted. We thought we would use the contract money to find, a, to find a better place here. Settle down, but this place ain't any better. It's just different. We're starving all the time. We never should have left. I just thought maybe we could do better. I miss you. Marauders at the door. Anderson's bleeding out. I'm on my way. I won't let them get me. Not alive anyway. I've seen what those monsters do. Oh, hey, Em. Hello. Hey, you're just in time. Um, Neoka's friends are dead. They were... A bitch! They were all set to abandon us! What would Clara say, huh? Every day she'd ask if we heard from you. And she'd have forgiven you. The kid had a soul that made the sulfur smell like roses. Ugh. Try to leave your medallions to rot with you, but Clara would want to be buried with her sister. Yeah, uh, Neoka's mission is kind of sad. Like, well, Parvati's is fun and lighthearted because it's basically make her go on a date with someone. Uh, Neoka's was, let's find this one person. He's already dead, but let's get his medallion. Cool. These two people got off Monarch on a, on a contract they took. They're dead because this place sucks. They couldn't get any food because they didn't work for a uh, corporation and they died. And they left. They left Neoka on Monarch. So she's a little pissed at them right now. But they're also dead in her friends. So it's a weird situation to be like angry and sad at the same time. I. Just a random vending machine on a forklift. All right. What you got? Um, well, I'll sell my junk here. That never sounds right to say, does it? I'm going to go into town and sell my junk for money. All right. So, Nioka, where to now? Oh, I just talked to her. At least, at least I know. Ought to have learned by now that getting one's hopes up tends to open them to being dashed across the stars. I hate to say this, but Clara died thinking her sister was still fighting to get back home. I think I'm glad. If she were still alive now, I'd break her to know the truth. Oh, this just gets worse. She feels happy that her other friend's dead, so she'll never find out the truth that her own sister abandoned her. Ugh. No wonder Nioka drinks all the time. Well, hey, she has a new family, a new team that won't abandon her or hopefully die. Um. Oh, well, so now what? I think I'll leave myself out of that. Only thing left is to take these medallions home, which means figuring out how to bait the Mana Queen out of our old base. The most pissed off I've ever seen a queen was when a foreign species was on her soil. I'd wager the stench of a primal might do the trick. Oh, primals, huh? You gonna go hunting? 
kind of makes sense that her mission would involve hunting something. Uh, <laughs> no. Might do it. I don't think there's anything about the wilderness you don't know. Yeah, she knows a lot. That'd be boring. Half the fun in exploring is the fact that you're on an unknown trail. I've never had the pleasure of hunting primals, but I hear they're all over Scylla. Let's tear a few apart, shall we? I'm sure they've got pheromones. Everything does. All right, time to go kill some primals and harvest their pheromones. Sounds like a fun time. Of course, that means leaving the planet already. Bye, Edgewater. No one's going to miss you. I, yeah, I, I may or may not have destroyed Ed, Edgewater. Ew. <laughs> Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. I'm going to fix my stuff because I'm sure someone's seeing that icon for my weapon being damaged and it's driving them nuts. Just like I'm watching someone stream this uh, slowly just because just I'll, I'll watch it while playing something else. And he doesn't know that you can fix your items. So it literally drives me nuts seeing that. You know, part of it's when you watch someone play a game for the first time, them learning it. It's it's kind of fun to do, but it's, it also can be a little annoying. Because you're just yelling at them like, please just do this. They eventually learn. I was stupid in this game for a while. All right. I mean, I, I still kind of am. Level 20. Eh, same as that one. I really don't need money, do I? I just noticed I have 28 grand bits. Grand bits. I'm just going to start breaking stuff down that's not worth a lot. Which is helmets. I don't... Just helmets aren't worth anything. I need a new hat, don't I? Ah, ho, ho. That was my elbow. Hmm. Uh, I need a new hat. I, I need to add to my hat collection. You know, I still have eye patch that makes me look like the villain from Waterworld, I think. That's a bit of a reach. Uh, moon, I love the squeak this makes when I put it on. Uh, I got my goggles. I got my weird steampunky hat. Need something new. You know what? I can afford to tinker a bit, can't I? Anything worth leveling up that isn't a ridiculous amount. Eh. Anything below like 300 I'll do. And I'm, and I'm done. No, no, I don't need this. Don't need it. I'm on a strict space diet of drugs, a slab of meat, and some uh, punch. And cereal. Boy, how... God. No wonder the Rizzo... Like, the Rizzo company is just all about sweets. Can you imagine how many of their employees just died or had diabetes just drinking this soda all day and eating this cereal? That's basically all berry Captain Crunch that just has, like, a million grams of sugar. Oh, sugar, I miss you. I do when I don't. There are benefits not eating garbage all the time. You feel better. You lose some weight. Destination but there are times where I do miss it. We gotta talk about this. Nope. Oh. Hey, Felix. Hey, boss. Got a hypothetical for you? You got a friend, see? Somebody you knew when you were growing up. You were close. Then one day, they up and vanished. Five years go by, they send you a message out of the aether. What's going through your head? Oh, llama love. Yeah, Felix. I know exactly what it feels like to have friends disappear. Except mine never contact me again. <laughs> I feel sad. <laughs> he, like His contact him after five years. Mine just don't do that. Oh, well. Sad day. Um, no. Are you going somewhere with this? Guy by the name of Clyde Harlow. He was an old friend of mine. Honestly, he was probably my first and longest friend. I just heard from him. Says he wants to talk to me. Says it's urgent. Oh, this is a feels mission right here. Damn. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, this is obviously important. Let's go. Figured I should let you know, seeing as we're on Scylla and all. Clyde's got a base on the other side of this rock. I appreciate this, boss. I know you're going out of your way for me. 
No problem, Felix. You're you're good boy, Felix. Max is kind of a dick, but I still kind of like him. Felix is like the the good boy. He he's the for better or worse, he's I think he's the Caden of the group. Max, I don't know what Max is. He's like he's kind of like a badass and does things, so he's kind of like Garrus, but not nearly as cool. So Parvati is definitely Tally. I mean, she's literally like a quirky, sweet engineer woman. Tally. Hey, Legion. <laughs> no, Legion had a better, way more of a personality than Sam does. And Nyoka and Ellie, I'm not sure. Nyoka is kind of a, I guess an Ashley in a sense, except not racist. And Ellie's kind of a smart ass. So like, I guess kind of like Jack, but not, not psychopathic. I know I'm comparing characters to Mass Effect characters, but hey, that's my thing. All right, so I have a personal mission for Neoka and Felix on this planet. Oh, space. I wish I could go there. I actually had a conversation with someone over Xbox Live about this. Um, If there was like a situation where we finally got space travel, right? We can go to Mars and make a colony or somewhere else. But it was like, okay... We need some just regular people to do like some labor, some easier jobs, like just whatever. We need we need, we need bodies. But there's only a 50% chance you'll survive the trip. Once you get there, you're cool. I'd probably take it for the chance to go somewhere new in space. Why not? Oh, bad guys. Oh, God, the scope on this thing is so ridiculous. I can see his cigarette. Like... It, <laughs> You know what? That's bad for you. Drop that. Did he drop it? Well, he's dead, so I think he dropped it. Smoking kills. Alright. Oh, oh, oh no. You know what? Eh. Wow, they died so fast. I missed. I missed. Got him. I was just getting started. Oh, armor parts. Uh, I always love the shock and plasma stuff. It gives me options. Backpack is always handy. Heavy machine. These are now. This is the stuff I'm gonna get on this planet's low level, so I'm just gonna scrap it or sell it. Hey, a spacer's choice rake. I want new headgear. You know, um, at the end of. Not the last stream, but the one before, I went on a shopping spree for all my characters, which is why I'm just kicking ass right now. Uh, I might do it again at the end of this stream for hats. We're going to go hat shopping. Ooh, our scanners caught movement on the fringes of Scylla. I haven't seen anything since, but I got the impression we're being followed. I ordered engineering uh, to go dark and drift cold for the next several hours. We should be in indistinguishable from space debris. Should. Famous last words. Why do I feel like someone is targeting us and uh, knows what to look for? If that's true, then we're already dead. Yeah, that they're dead. In this game, um, if someone disappears even for a couple hours and it's like, I haven't heard from him in a couple hours. He went over behind that rock. His, his body's behind that rock. This this pl this place is terrible. I'm also probably going to cut the stream a little early. I'll probably go to about 9.30 my time, which right now it is... Uh, 718. I'm going to be playing Overwatch with some other streamers later. One of them is actually already streaming right now. Which is unfortunate that I can't, like, watch and have fun there. But hey, I'm, you know, I'll be on there later. You know, it's bad when, like, you have streamer friends and you like to watch their stuff and, like, help support them. Just talk to them in chat, you know, like, friendly chat. But then you end up streaming at the same time with your schedules. Like, no. Yeah, I think I'm going to stop at about 9.30. It'll give me a half an hour to eat dinner. Uh, and then I'll join. I, I don't think I'm going to stream it my per myself personally, but those two I think will. I'm bad enough at shooters as it is, 
I don't need to be concentrating on, like, if anyone says something in the chat while I'm trying to play. Like, I'm bad enough. <laughs> I can multitask when playing something like this. I can't multitask in a shooter like Overwatch when I have to pay attention, especially when I'm playing support. Enray weakness? No thank you. Oh. Well, I have to say they're not cute. But... They're just kind of doing their thing on this on this rock. Hey, I need their pheromones. Ooh, this guy had a bad day. You know, I can't I can't treat the game like real life. Like I don't like bugs. If I find a bug where I live, it's a uh, squish time. But if I see a bug outside, I'm not going to go out of my way to kill it. I leave it alone. I'm in their, I'm in their, I'm in their house. <laughs> if I, on the rare opportunity that I get to go outside for something, I say, I say that as, as the opportunity is positive. I don't like going places or going outside. I just don't. The winter is better than the summer. I'm allergic to everything. So winter, a lot of stuff that I'm allergic to dies. Oh. I mean, I'm, God, I might as well not even fight. Like, this is just going to be a, a, just a slaughter. Oh, no. I don't know. I mean, at my last job, on the occasion we found a big bug, I would try to put it outside or something. But something about, like, this is my safe place, all right? <laughs> You come in here. Oh, my internet spiked for a second. Well, that's not cool. But I think we're good now. Hopefully it doesn't do that like it did last time. Right, come on, Comcast. Give me this. Just have my, have my upload speed be constant for like three hours. That's all I'm asking. You can do whatever you want after that. Um, hmm. how many more glands do I need? How, how many more monkey lives do I need to ruin? Uh, two more at least. All right, they're just jumping behind me, aren't they? Yep. All right. We're hunting. Now see, he's just trying to sleep. He's just, he's just trying to have a nice sleep. Sorry, I need to cut you open and take out your glands. Right. Blame Nioka. Here we go. Got him. That's one down. Everyone all right? Uh, gland. And brain. Why am I taking their brain? I don't want their brain. That reminds me of the Borderlands DLC, the first one, where you have to shoot the zombies in the heads and get their brains. God, how many... I don't even remember how many brains you needed. It was a ridiculous amount. Oh, a cave I don't think I ever found. Thank you, Primals, for leading me here. Ooh, look at this play. Oh, there's glow sticks. Well, someone's been here. Robot? Robot friend? Oh, it's an abandoned... Oh, look, he's shaking. He's, he's scared. It spiked a bit again. Stop that. So, he's a scared little robot. Oh, no, he's not. He's drilling. <laughs> I didn't see the drill. I thought he was just, like, shaking in fear. Ooh. A named weapon. Uh, get out of here, get out of here. No, don't like you. You know, I should probably be looking what these hats look like. Maybe some of them might look decent. Uh, no, that does not look decent. It looks like I'm shoving tubes up my nose. So, nope, you don't meet the requirements. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check every hat from now on. As much as I like having the best armor in a game, 
I love having cool looking stuff like an Inquisition. I spent so many hours in Inquisition making myself look like a badass. Fashionable, but effective. Oh, I can talk to him. This unit's primary function is excavator. Owner, Hephaestus Mining Corporation. Other functions include dialogue, limited current active commands, excavation. That is all. <laughs> Uh, what are you excavating? This unit is removing rock matter in search of minerals, metals, and other forms of matter designated valuable. I mean, the place is abandoned. I think you could stop. Of course, I'm kind of taking away his only f way of living. It's like the pass the butter thing, you know, except he likes it. I mean, he, you know, he looks like he sounds like he's having fun doing his job. If I tell him he can stop, maybe he'll you know be sad. Maybe or or maybe I could just take him with me. Let's <laughs> negative. The presence or absence of human operators does not impact this unit's assigned directive. This unit achieves perfection by fulfilling its directive. This unit sounds like my old foreman. You know, it's a crying shame that auto mechanicals can't get drunk or laid. This thing needs both. This unit has now exhausted its available library of opinion about excavation good luck with that thank you for your consumer loyalty junior excavator this unit will store this exchange in its memory banks always oh and there he goes again i mean hey he's happy he's doing his thing well that was a fun little cave that i never found before Now back to scraping the brains and pheromone glands out of monkeys. Oh, hello. Oh, you got away. Hi, right, don't throw rocks at me. Yeah, that's what you get. Everyone all right? Hmm. I wonder if his brain is somehow intact in that pile of ash. Oh, nothing is. Hey, that was realistic. Did he just have a... Did... Nope. He has a cigarette lighter, a bracelet, a necklace. Well, he's he has a lot of accessories for a monkey. And a gun. Alright, do I need one or two more of these things? Two, okay. I wonder if that would hurt me. I don't want to find out. I don't want to be terraformed. Oh, that sounds painful. Like somehow get like stuck in a terraforming machine. Ugh. <clears throat> you know what? I think I'm going to use my void weapon. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but these guys are low level. So must spread that radiation around. Where'd he go? There he is. Yeah. Damn, but we're good. Is his arm missing? Or is it like stuck in him? What happened here? Eh. I got his brain. Ooh. Aw. They destroyed the robots. Only brains? I want pheromones. I don't want brains. I want to be sexier, not smarter. Anyone who knows me knows that's not true. <laughs> okay. Uh, go. Oh, oh, man. He got stopped in his tracks big time. And that was that nice, like... Just, wow. This is just a massacre. Oh, got it. Inioka, hey, I'm done slaughtering for you. That queen ain't gonna go down easy. I can't wait. What's up? Um, you know what? Let's let's get a let's get a nice hunting story from her. <laughs> I 
I took a job once to clear out a rap nest. Partnered up with a fellow out of Fallbrook who called himself Dirty Don. Bit on the shorter side. Had a penchant for cards. Thing is, he introduces himself and the man is immaculate. Clean. He had a flowery presence to him. A pleasantness that didn't invade your space. He was just there and you were glad for it. That's why they call him Dirty Don. When we set out to hunt down the Raptodons, I found out firsthand where his nickname came from. Dirty Don killed those Raptodons with his bare hands. His bare fucking hands, Captain. He was a whirlwind of grotesque primal fury. In the end, he stood drenched in blood over the entrails of a dozen raps. If he had a scratch on him, I wouldn't have been able to tell. It was glorious. So he was Grunt from Mass Effect 3 killing the Rachni things. Hmm. I can respect that. Uh, what happened to him? Day came when he tried to take on a mana queen. Got himself eaten one limb at a time. Wonder if he tasted like soap. Oh well, live and learn. No matter how tough you are, if you're gonna fight something bigger than you, bring a firearm. Yeah, bring a gun to a fist fight. Yeah. Especially when the thing you're fighting has giant claws and teeth. Oh, I can talk to you again. What's up? Oh, I should probably give you these. Outstanding. These ought to be enough. Let's get back to Monarch. There's an old base I used to call home. I can get us in the door, but we'll have to shoot our way through the Queen's Brood to get to the center. We'll set the bait there. Password to the door is Charon. Charon? Hayes's idea. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, Nioka. Charon. He said it was some old myth. Something about death and all the things we killed. The rest of us just thought it sounded cool, so here we are. Sounds like a band name. Uh yeah, we're gonna go we're gonna go kill ourselves a Manta Queen. Fucking right we are. Yeah. Again, normally I don't take pleasure in uh killing something. But keep in mind, the stuff on Monarch is like ridiculously aggressive and kills a lot of people. Plus, it's what killed a lot of her teammates. So let's get revenge. A reminder to all crew members. There is only one toilet on the ship. Trust me, Ada, we are well aware. It'd be nice if we had another one. Although we have Sam now. He'll keep it clean, you know, at least. Uh, actually, I have I still have something on Stilla to do, don't I? Hmm. Yep, Harlow's base. This is where I can take Felix. I don't need Nioka for this. So Felix has some nice persuade. I need a lockpick, so you know what? We're going to bring some... Uh, uh, hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, no, he has Persuade and Lockpick. That's right. So, I could almost bring anyone I want. You know, Ellie's going to get some use in the next planet, because that's where she's from. You know what, Max? Why not? The boys. I'll bring the boys. Max and Felix. Oh, this guy has his own base on an asteroid. That's pretty Bond villain. Hey, you. Looking for something? Where do you think you're going? Uh, <laughs> intimidate. No, no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, hey, Felix Millstone's with me. I forgot his last name was Millstone. Yeah. The captain said we might be getting a new recruit. That you, then? Sounds like Clyde's jumping to conclusions, but yeah, I'm Felix. You're on a first-name basis with Captain Harlow, huh? All right, go on through. Thank you. I I'm glad I didn't have to kill you to get over here. Got my sights on you. God, even when I'm playing Renegade Shepard in Mass Effect, I'm still kind of like that, personally. When I get someone to back down through intimidation, I'm like, you know, I'm glad I didn't have to go through you, because I definitely would and could have. Wait, where, why is it pointing over? Oh, I don't have the mission. Okay, hold on. There we go. Um, oh, Harlow's crew terminal. Inde Ooh, this is, some, this is their booty. Independent freighter cat's meow. Uh, contraband pharmaceuticals. 
brought down salvage cargo ransom crew. Cat's meow was drugs? Huh. Getaway sticks. Subversive literature. Brought down salvage uh, cargo. Crew joined up. Werewolf. Engine parts. Brought down salvage cargo. Crew jettisoned in escape pod. I almost jumped to conclusions before I read escape pod. I thought it was going to say crew jettisoned from airlock. As usual, uh, we were able to intercept these ships despite how cleverly uh, they masked their heat signatures. Our patron pulled through again with his tracking data. They don't know how they get, we don't know how they get their hands on it, but we're in no position to refuse charity. Crew. I'm beginning to wonder about our patron. When we opened up our scanners and sniffed the system for our latest Wildcat, we picked up a signal from a, corp uh, oh no, a corporate freighter nearby. It was hauling ten times more cargo than our target. No sooner did we scan it than a message came through ordering us to go after the Wildcat instead. Something doesn't add up. Until I get answers, stay skeptical. Last entry. <laughs> Rule 1. Arlo's the boss. Rule 2. Uh, down with the board. Rule 3. Why are you still reading, pig? Wake up. If you're seeing this, the board already owns you. You went looking for the rules. Why? Because your life because life's a game to you? Maybe you like being played. You guzzle down that sense of security like it's purple uh purple berry flavored opium. Uh screw rules and screw terminals. It's not a revolution if we're using the weapons they raised against us time and time again, from the front lines of the riots to the corporate sit-ins and Document Pirates Code has exceeded character limits. Oh, so he went on a Twitter rant. Got it. Okay. Uh, where am I going? Oh, here he is. Hey, Felix, it's your bud. Oh, he has a pet doggy. And hey, it's actually pretty tame. It didn't attack me immediately. That's nice. Well, hey there, Hullhead. Clawed your way out of the groundbreaker at long last? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry. Were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see or a you've aged old man? Yeah, this is a little awkward. So, you took Felix under your wing. Kept him busy. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. Felix will always have a place in this crew. He's family to us now. Hear that, Clyde? I've been making something out of myself. So long as you haven't been making a fool of yourself. I'm sure Felix has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. By the way, that was really nice of Max to say. I, I wonder if... I never tested this, but I already did his companion mission ar already, and it kind of mellows him out a bit in that scene. I wonder if he seems more, like, nice and loving after that, or if he always says that. Huh. And in some cases, it really doesn't matter. If it makes you think that, then it's a decent way of writing the game. Um... Yeah, why are we here? I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy. That one day, he and I would change the colony together. That day has finally arrived. Easy there, Clyde. No one said nothing about throwing in with you. In case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix. But neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's loyalties lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. Hey, I'm all for revolution, all right? I've, I was at Edgewater before it uh, kind of imploded. I know what those corporate towns are like and how they suck the soul out of people. Oh, God. But, hey, hey, oh, no, you want to put him through a test. Okay. I would kind of hope you would trust him since he's an old friend, but all right, fair enough. Everyone in my crew proves their loyalty. No exceptions. Not even Felix. I want you to deal with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely. And this is one of those tropes where it's like, in a game when it says bring me their head or like bring me their body or whatever, you obviously have to kill him. Or betray the person. But then when it says, you know what? Bring me an object that he could just take off himself willingly and give it to you. That'll prove that he's dead. <laughs> but yes, sure, I'll get you his ring as proof that he's dead. Or I just asked for it. 
Uh, what did he do to deserve death? Ratted us out to the board. He's been an informant. Has been for years. When he realized I was on to him, he and his little cadre mutinied. Killed five of my own and tucked tail. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might. Rosanna. Lives on the groundbreaker last I checked. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. Um, yeah. Is, the, is there more to this? Like, is it just, like, this this black and white, or...? You think so? Maybe we should have a word with Trask. Get his side of the story first. You'd be wasting your breath bandying words with that traitor. But if it makes you feel better, by all means. Remember, I want proof. Bring me his ring. I don't care if the hand's still attached. Here, my token. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows me by my works will know me by this token. Uh, all right then. Well, you know what? Let's get a little bit of backstory. Uh, how well do you know Felix? Well enough. It's been a few years, but I still remember a thing or two. You had a chip on your shoulder. You'd argue over anything, and you'd never back down. What do you mean, had? And for the record, you never could admit when you lost an argument. You see what I have to deal with? Got something I want to ask you? Maybe. Let's hear it. Uh, you said you were working on something big. I mean, hey, man. Uh, I was on the fence at first, but after seeing all this stuff happen, especially those nightmarish sissy pigs and all that stuff, uh, I, it let me in. A revolution is the work of a lifetime, Captain. I've spent my life preparing for the day of Halcyon's reckoning. Everything you see around you is the result of that preparation. A base of operations, loyal soldiers, freedom from the board's oversight. Yeah, it sounds like you want to overthrow the board. Uh, if you're looking for volunteers, I mean, right here. Hardly. The board is rotting from the inside. Tomorrow, next year, a generation from now, eventually, the board will fall to pieces. Entropy is the natural state of the universe, Captain. All systems inevitably dissolve. When that day comes to Halcyon, we will be ready. That was simultaneously the least scientific and most pompous statement I've heard in ages. Well done, Mr. Harlow. A vicar. I admit, I never imagined a man of the cloth living the adventurer's life. You do keep some interesting company. Was there anything else? Damn, Max just destroyed him a little bit there. Uh, what makes you think you're free here? The skies around Scylla are curiously absent of patrol ships. It's almost as if the board's sphere of influence is shrinking. Besides, our facility is well armed and located on defensible terrain. If the board tries to lay siege to us, we'll make them pay. They'll still win, though. I mean, you might make them lose some people they don't care about, obviously, but they'll still win. You know what? That's all for now. So we gotta go take care of a traitor. Ooh. Ooh. The, the, the ability to to lie and deceive and, like, betray someone that trusted you? Ooh, that's a big no-no for me. What's up? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. All right. So, man, we're starting off this stream strong. We're doing uh, both companion missions I had. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Oh, they always are. Brown breaker. You know, I was wondering Definitely if and when uh, DLC Better. comes out, which planet would unlock? Olympus is a gas giant. And it also has Monarch, a moon, which we go to. It's like a Jupiter moon. So that's that's always going to be like that. We can't land on a gas giant. I think this is mentioned, but it's also a gas giant. They could introduce a moon, I guess. And then you have a Festus, which is kind of like Mercury. It's super hot, but there is a mining corporation there. So it might be like survivable a little bit. Then you have Typhon. It's uninhabited icy planet. Nothing to offer. Could be like some kind of like space installation on there, kind of like how there is on uh, Scylla. Or it could just add stuff like it did these two. Oh, man. Speaking of which, 
Oh yeah, I already did those missions. My current sublight mission, who I'll be honest, they're a little crazy and a little piratey. I kind of like them. They're kind of in it for themselves, but at least they're not the board. I pretty much like everyone more than the board, all right? The bo board's not my thing. All right, Felix, I need you. You know what? I like this. Max Max is like big brother Max to Felix. After he kind of stood up for him a little bit, saying he's family. I'm, I'm kind of liking this team. And then Parvati and uh, Sam is also a cool team. Although, I can see Parvati with anyone as a teammate. He's just nice. Alright, hey, I'm looking for your ex-husband boyfriend person so we can kill him. Please tell me where he is. Hello. You mind trying to have a moment here? Oh, see you later. I'll see you in your next stream. Bye. Uh, da -da -da. are you? We'll start it with this. Are you uh, Rosanna Trask? Yeah, I was called that once upon a day. You need something? Looking for a guy na by the name of uh, Rufus Trask. I'm told he's around these parts. Rufus and I are no longer on speaking terms. I don't know where he is. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Uh, hmm. I could show her Harlow's emblem. Or I could be nice and be like, hey, you can ask Jun Lee about me. I'm a good guy. I'm gonna try that. You're telling me you're on a first name basis with Ms. Tennyson? Oh, dude, you should have. I should have brought Parvati. That might have been a little extra dialogue there. Yeah, I repaired the ground. Oh, I get experience for this, though. You know what? I'll just be honest with her. I'm not saying I'm not here because of Harlow. I'm saying that I fixed the ship up. Yeah, the promenade doesn't feel like I'm walking the surface of Tartarus. So that was you, huh? Rufus is hiding out in Emerald Vale. Got a few friends with him. That's as much as I know. Damn, she just gave him up. A few more questions for you, maybe. Please, just make it quick. Uh, you and Trash split up? That's right. Our marriage contract expired some months ago. And seeing how he's technically an outlaw, I wouldn't renew even if I wanted to. Now, I'd make some comment that marriages are a contract. They, they are, honestly, already. But I get the feeling in this day and age, it's like it's kind of like arranged marriages for the sake of royalty. So that's not fun. Um, how much do you know about him? Do you think he could actually be a traitor? Precious little. He and Rufus worked together on the Groundbreaker some years back before he vanished. A few years later, Rufus gets a message from an old friend. Something about starting a revolution. Something about getting rich. Abandoned his work and ran off that very day. Hmm. Arlo tells me Trask betrayed him. Do you think he could do that? Only that Rufus is in a bad way. He came to see me a little ways back. Said he had to go into hiding. Never asked why. He was here to collect his personals, complain about Harlow to me, and say goodbye. In that order. So it's possible. No, and he was particular about that. Said I was better off not getting entangled in his mess. Little late for that, says I. That's all. Appreciate it. No offense meant. Just been a long day is all. All right. Well, thank you for the information. Oh, there's no way I can steal this. I could steal it and just be like, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't do anything. Please leave me alone. And I'll be like, okay. Where am I going? And don't worry. I will be back for hat shopping later. Groundbreaker. I'll be back. I've come to spend some money on hats. I'll miss my top hat, though, if I ever get rid of it. It has good stats. The leadership plus seven and the... I think it's Persuade plus 7 and Leadership plus 5, I think. Well, you know what? I have control of the game. Uh, Leadership skills plus 5, Persuasion plus 7, yeah. By the way, my controller is acting weird right now. Okay. Surprise, surprise. I have an Xbox Elite controller. This is my third one. They suck. 
I have a protection plan through Best Buy. I am going to go and have them order me the version 2. That, of course, is $30 more expensive. Yay. So then I told him, oh, ha ha ha, that tickles. How odd. No, don't desist. I think I might like it. Further data collection is required for accurate assessment. I thought I told you to to not do this in the bridge. Like, get a room, please. Hate is the whole ship, Sam. Just go in a closet or something. All right. So I'm going to Terra 2 to track down this uh, supposed betrayer. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Um, you know what? I'm still, I'm sticking with the team. It's just me and the boys. I got Caden. I got somewhat stupider Caden and less cool Garrus with me. And my other team is Human Tally and more boring Legion. Hmm. Oh. Forgot about that. Remember a while back I mentioned that, uh, I don't think it was my internet again. See, I'm getting those internet hiccups, but at least they're only lasting like a second and then it goes back to normal. That I can take. That's just like a second of buffering. And I've only lost 0.4% frames, so that's that's fine. Anyway. Um, remember a while ago I mentioned that the side quest. Oh, oh hey, hello. Um don't, Oh. That was a single bullet from a rapid fire weapon. These guys are so weak. That's right. I've come back. And I am stronger. I've been doing training in the hyperbolic time chamber. At least my guns have. Okay. But yeah. Um, even if there's some places you don't get to on the side quests on the planet themselves, look at this one. I forgot this place over here existed. But because of this side quest, I know where it is. I love games that do that. As long as you just talk to everyone in the towns and do your stuff, you will event some a lot of side quests will take you to optional places you might miss. Good game design. Like I love Dragon Age Inquisition. But it drives me nuts that the first thing I have to do when I get to any area is walk all the way on the edge of the map and then go all the way through it to find everything. Oh, especially the areas that are like big and open, like the sandy one. Ugh. Some days I just can't do that. There'll be days where I get to a new area and I'm like, I'll be back later. Well, these guys look comfortable. Hey, traitor. Alleged traitor. I don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here, but I'm willing to make a guess. You're one of Harlow's gun hands, ain't you? He sent you after me. Jeez, I could just attack immediately. Um, Harlow said, I'm going to be straight up with him. Harlow said you betrayed him. Yeah, of course he did. Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Harlow wants me dead, and I've got no intention of dying. Okay, why did you betray him? How do I know that I can trust you? Because I haven't killed you yet. Yeah, there you go. If I wanted you dead, we wouldn't be talking. I would have shot you with my awesomely powerful zoomed uh, sniper rifle. Yeah, guess that's a fair point. Listen, I don't know what lies Harlow's dripped down your ear, but you'd be a fool to trust him. I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All the palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. You're a real piece of work, Trask. Not just a turncoat, but a liar, too. Go piss up a rope, kid. I've got nothing to prove to you. That's the whole truth. Harlow's just another board asset. A two-bit mercenary wearing a dissident's clothes. That's a pretty big accusation. Yeah, you got any evidence? Yeah, I've got proof. There's always a paper trail when the board's involved. I chanced upon some correspondence between Harlow and his employer. I don't know that it makes a difference. What was I to do with that evidence? Bring it in front of the board? There's no authority in Halcyon willing to take Harlow to task. 
Uh, oh boy. Well, if you've got proof, let's see it. I hid my papers before Harlow chased me out. Back in the middle of the base, there's an old vent in a utility corridor. I stashed my evidence in that vent. All right. What was Harlow doing for the board? Board sanctioned piracy. Harlow went after the ships the board wanted destroyed, capturing anybody the board wanted captured. If we captured you, we'd ransom you. Harlow liked to do the job himself. Gather up the captives on his own ship, vanish for a couple of days. Only that's not what happened. Harlow's been selling his captives off to the board. I don't know where they ended up. Re-education, Tartarus, maybe worse. That would explain some of the things I found. His patron uh, was the board. But why would the board bother paying him off? Because he's for sale. Anything the board can buy, the board will buy. And that includes loyalty. Harlow was a charismatic bastard, and he was ruthless. With Harlow in their pocket, the board had an informant, a pirate, a smuggler, and a gang leader all rolled up into one odious excuse for a human being. Sounds like a deal to me. All right, I've heard enough. Take it, you've made up your mind. I'm not going to kill you, but please give me your ring. You gonna tell Harlow I'm dead? May as well. I'm never going back to that life again. Here, take the ring. And for what it's worth, my gratitude. Yeah! Level up. Gee, my God, I have way too much persuade. I am super persuadeful. Or, wait, is that a word? Persuadeful? Eh, whatever. Um. Well, now my pick's a hundred with uh, one of the lockpick guys in my party. Uh, what else should I do? Eng honestly, I kind of want to do engineering some, but I really don't need those mods. I don't need anything. You know what? There you go. <laughs> Uh, why not? I like seeing the hundred there. And I actually, you know what? You know what? You know what? No, take all that back. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, more damage that I don't need. <laughs> uh, long, long guns, headshot and weak spot damage plus 20%. Uh, ooh, and I got new perks as well. Ooh, I have access to the last tier. These are pretty good. 20% duration of status effects inflicted by companions. This is also pretty good. It raises your armor by three and it stacks three times, I think. Yeah. So that's not bad. That's like nine extra armor. It isn't like it is. I can do math. Uh, then it's a uh, 15 minute cooldown, but they get up after they die. This is kind of like a safety net for supernova. I really don't need it. So, you know what? I'm going to go with this. They just die less. Picker Max. And for some reason, I don't know why Max has an extra perk point. Oh, yeah. I was going to do some science shenanigans, wasn't I? Ooh. You know what? I will save that for next stream. I will start off uh, that stream respecting to a science build and then level up some science weapons. Why not? We'll have some fun. Which means it doesn't matter what I give him right now, so more health. All right, boys. We're going back to that liar. Alleged liar. No, he's a big fat liar. One second. Come on, phone. Come on, phone. There we go. Oh, my internet went duh again. Henry, I must confess. I have not been clean for far too long. You're sure this will... Oh, yes. That's the spot exactly. I, I, I... Why, I didn't expect you to be so thorough. I am ashamed to admit. Oh, Captain, there you are. Pardon, but... Perhaps you could afford us some privacy, please? 
No, this is my bridge. I told you to stop doing this weird stuff in the bridge. Why do they keep... Every time I come back, they're doing this. Stop. Oh, I went to the wrong spot, didn't I? Destination. Beach. There we go. And I need to take the boys with me. Yeah. Spacer's choice. I mean, get out of here. I'm glad they're... Well, they're not dead. The, the town is dead. Corporation's still going. Alright, I'm impatient. Didn't break my legs that time. Alright, so I could ignore his uh, treachery. But you know what? I'm gonna confront him. Hey, you. Hey, liar. What's the word? Yet yeah, Trask had some uh some not nice stuff to say about you. Not surprised. Trask was a dead man trying to negotiate with his own executioner. He'd say anything to preserve his life. Well, he told me you're working for the board, and I gotta tell you, man, I hate the board, so <laughs> you're my enemy if that's true. That's a damning accusation. Am I right to presume you have some evidence on hand? Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, you've been bought off. I literally have this receipt that says the board isn't paying you. Those papers don't prove a thing. We've all done business with the board. They own the whole damn colony. Trask put you up to this. <laughs> that miserable wretch. He's trying to undermine everything I stand for. Yeah. Except when we met, you told me Trask was the informant for the board, so you lied. You've got a lot of nerve calling me a liar to my face. I'll call you worse if you don't stop. Why would Trask rat you out to your own employers? How should I know? What the hell do I care? Trask was a traitor. I didn't ask you to understand his motives. I asked you to cross him off. Clyde, look me in the eye and tell me it's not true. Tell me and I'll believe you. Don't talk to me like I'm some common criminal, Felix. You're the one on trial, not me. I don't know what kind of poison that snake dripped in your ear, but as far as I'm concerned, you've been compromised. Uh-oh. All right, well, I'm just going to do this, and, uh, well, well, you're dead now. Good, good job. And now I have no choice but to kill your teammates, too. Um, I wasn't going to kill them, but looks like they want me dead. I did just kill their boss. Get him, Felix. Get him, Felix. Yeah. That was fun. Well, sorry your friend's dead. And hey, now I can unlock this and steal the stuff and they won't kill me for it. Level 11. Wow, this thing is always level 11. I, I really like this gun, but it's always level 11. Maybe I'll just spend the money and level it up a lot. All right, Felix, uh, how you doing after we just killed your friend? This is... this is definitely not how I imagined it would end. The board's black, water's wet, and Clyde hated the board. That's something I just knew. Now? I don't know. I don't know what to think. Yeah. Uh, you're just gonna have to learn to live with it. I've just got a lot on my mind right now. This is, uh... this is a lot to take in. I always looked up to Clyde. The thought that he could be an agent of the board is just abhorrent to me. Oh my, wow. <laughs> the lesson here, don't look up to anyone. No. Uh, I mean, I can understand why you're not very happy right now. He, he, he literally did betray you. He said you feel like he betrayed you. He did betray him. Yeah, he did. And I'm not sure how I'm going to get over that. <laughs> get drunk. You know what? It'll pass. I hope so. I don't see this one passing anytime soon. Uh, you've given me a lot to think about. I'm going to be mulling over this whole mess for a couple of days. Part of me wishes we'd put Trask in the ground. You know, I think that's just my frustration talking. Thanks for your time, boss. And when, like Max said, you have a new family now. And we will not betray you. At least I won't betray you. 
I don't think Max will betray you. Or Parvati. Or Sam. I don't think he's capable of betraying. Nioka. Eh. Not really, no. Ellie. Eh. Yeah, po point is, most of your new family won't betray you. And I'm just taking all their stuff because I have a feeling um, by the time I leave here, this little band of outlaws is uh, not going to be running anymore. Got any hats? No. Nope. Okay. No good ones. You know, I kind of don't want to kill all these guys, but eh. nah, they'll find that eventually. Hey, guys. Get him, Felix. Take out your frustration on him. Get him. They're friends of Harlow. Get him. Was his name Harlow? I don't remember his name. Screw his name. He betrayed you. Who cares what his name was? See, this is why I, do, I think this is better. But these are higher level. I think I'm going to soup this up and replace this thing, though. Oh, I put some good stuff in there, too. Inc oh, including my time 6 zoom. I only had one of those. You know what, though? I think time 6 is a little excessive. I'm one of those people that prefers, like, an ACOG or a red dot instead of an actual scope. I like a nice mid-range uh, rifle. You know what? We're, we're going to let... We're going to let these two guys live. I don't want to kill them. Three guys. There's one there, one there, and there's one over there. You know what? Three guys. That's fine. The three survivors. Hey, leave me alone. You get to live. I could have just transported back to the ship, I think. Oh, no, well, that counts as enemies, so I can't. Ah. Hey, guys. Teleportation is a thing, huh? All right, well, Felix's mission was fun. Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. I see you're not doing that stuff in here. Good, good. All right, where am I going now? Uh, fancy clothes, which you know what? That's going to be awesome because I want fancy clothes too. Uh, we're going back to Monarch. One last time. I hope it's only one last time, because I hate this place. We're now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. We left it a better place. The Iconoclast and MSI are getting along, as far as I know. Uh, Sublight's still there. Uh, let's see. I need Neoka. Hmm. And normally I would take Felix or Pravati for the Persuade and the Lockpick. Oops, I didn't take either. <laughs> Reminds me of when I first started streaming this blind, and I only took one teammate when I had two, because I thought it was like Fallout, where you can only have one companion. Even though it specifically says at the bottom, take two. It's amazing how much a game tells you how it works, as long as if you, if you read... I need to sell my stuff, though. Oh, I just got a message from someone. One of my friends on Xbox just finished the board ending of this game. She said it was really depressing. Yeah, I kind of agree. All right, guys, we're going to go sell our stuff. Ow. And I'm going to sell it to a person instead of the vending machine because I get a better discount. I actually... So the ship talks? Oh. Do all ships do that? You can't say for certain, since I only ever been on this one. Ada's something special, though, ain't she? Ada, what is it? She? It? I, I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. Used to be I thought she was a simulated intelligence. You know, a long series of commands telling her how to react to certain inputs. You used to. What do you think now? Well, I worked with a lot of machines, and ain't none of them like her. They can be pretty smart, but mostly they're rule books or the voice box. Ada's different. One of life's mysteries, I suppose. I don't trust it. If it crashes us into a star, I'll be a mite upset. 
Yeah, Ada is kind of weird. It's, I mean, it's fairly obvious that she is sentient, but I, I think I've gotten all her dialogue before and it never really goes that far. Hey, sequel, maybe. Before you ask, what? I'll say. All right. Oh, what I was saying before is, I know you get a better discount from people. I actually don't know if you get a better sell price. I never really paid attention. I know there's perks that do that. All right, first off, get rid of all that junk. Uh, not worth selling. I will swim. I wanted to use a melee weapon for once. My melee sucks, though. <laughs> Bye. And if I do respect for melee, I'm going to be using that prismatic hammer. So, uh, decent. What am I doing? I'm selling stuff from there. Okay. Uh, 31. Eh. Keeping that. Level 15, get out of here. Level 5? What crappy pirate did I kill to get that? Eh. Level 6? Get out, get out of here. Oh, see, this one's level 20. Oh, that's worth like nothing. I'll just break that down. Break it down, break it down. Break it down, yeah. Helmets, dude, helmets aren't worth anything. Uh, there's the tubes up the nose helmet. What do you look like? What is that? That's terrible. Might as well give them stuff. Um, we'll make her do more damage after she uses her ability. And par avati. Um, same thing. Although when I respect for science, I'm gonna have to do give, give them all their abilities again. But hey, you know what? Do you have any hats? A little. What can I get you? If you don't. I know I'm doing this later, but I'm here. I might as well check. Oh, you got those ugly like ketchup and mustard and blue hats. Yeah. Not my not my favorite color scheme of red, blue, and yellow. All right, where am I going on the map? So it's right there. We'll go here. Oh no, it's the Borst Factory. Ugh. This place makes me uncomfortable. But you know what? Sublight owns it now, which means I should be able to just scroll on in. Yep. And that means oh, that means I can look around. I wasn't able to look around in here because I was staying away from the bad guys. And I'm not stealing. I usually just kick him down. You you kick a box down? Alright. I guess they figured since I got the place, I might as well take my stuff. That's good. That's also handy. Hey, a new helmet. I'm sure it doesn't look good. Oh, good. I got shears. Just what I needed. A haircut. You know, I, I know you can respect your character in this, but you actually can't change your appearance. That could be a new, a new add-on, too. And I will say that I really, really, really wish you could respect your attributes, but that would literally be like creating a new character in the endgame. I kind of get how they wanted you to stick with your consequences of your choice a little bit. Got a hat? That's not terrible looking, but by the way, I, I like how these are melee weapons. Spacer's choice. I would not someone to cut my hair with that. Probably cut my ear off. Ooh, flamethrower. You know, I was looking up a list of like best weapons in the game. This was actually on there a couple times. I, I'll be honest, I don't see it. Maybe I, just, maybe I just haven't used it enough. All right, good enough. We got important so things to do. Ada isn't really alive, but it. Sorry, she can still talk like a person. Nope. What about Sam? What's it? Sorry, he is he the same thing? Well, Sam's an auto mechanical thing, not a computer brain thing like Ada. I don't think Sam understands gender, so you can call him it if you want. Right, but she's a machine, he's a machine. How are they different? You know how I said Ada was special? 
Her wiring's a whole lot more complex than Sam's, so she can simulate a personality better than he can. She got more tools in her box, so to speak. Hmm. So he's following his own rules, making everything obnoxiously clean because he has to. Maybe I ought to let up on him a bit. Yeah, be nice. Be nice to Sam. All right, let's see. Who wants to bet this is going to kill him in one hit? Yep. They don't know where it came from. 